number 16 Salvation Road, Webi Ikeja. The remains of the ill-fated helicopter, which at exactly 12.17 p.m., crashed into the residence of this 73-year-old Yemisi Oluoli. I was not in. All of us had just gone out, nobody in the house. And where we went, they just called us. We just reached there when they said, in fact, we would have come home straight and met the thing. Men of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency and NEMA and the Nigerian police make frantic efforts to rescue the three passengers on board of the aircraft. However, two die, with only one survivor rushed to the intensive care unit of the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. We recovered two bodies, and if you look at um, the impact, it was due to the impact effect on these people and um, their bodies were deposited uh, in the mortuary. Type is um, Bell 206B and um, time of notification we got information about 1250 and we got here a bit late anyway and then it is on the owner is Quadrum Aviation. Quadrum Aviation that's all we know for now. Gradually, the remains of the helicopter is evacuated from the scene, the brain box recovered and is taken away for further investigations. A few minutes to the crash before we received the, something, we contacted the, the tarmac. They, lo, they confirmed that they lost control. I mean, they lost contact with the pilot. Uh, barely a few minutes later, we, we were able to... So the, Black Boss will reveal the details of the communication and the nature of uh, uh, causes. And here again, Yemisi Oluwali, the elderly woman who owns the house, is still in visible shock after the incident. And so the whole wall here is already broken. Some roof broken, cars crushed. And so many damages, but that is not us, since we ourselves are not damaged. And all the eyewitnesses recount the helicopter crash. I could um, view the helicopter coming from a distance. So the pilot was tried himself, tried his best, but at the spot he was unable to control it further. Then the thing stopped and it fell down. As evacuation intensifies, the government assures Lagosians of their safety despite the crash. We appeal to the people of Lagos State to remain calm, cool and collected. And it's four hours after the helicopter crash right here at this residence. Things are beginning to pick up and return to normal on this Salvation Road. But as the hours tick into the night, the common emotion here for residents is that of fear. From the helicopter crash scene right here in Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.